So this is like my favorite rosary because um, it was given to me by someone special. But uh, a little while ago, the uh, the Jesus fell off of the crucifix. You can kind of see the, the glue there. Really unfortunate. Protestants be like, darn right. You didn't stay on the cross forever. Also because I think this is just fitting for the video. Um, I got this cool crucifix um, from helping out with a retreat about a month or so ago. Uh, so shout out to Cassie for giving this to me. Don't know where it's from, um, but whoever this is from, whoever made this, this is a brand deal, you owe me money. Okay, so what's up? I had, I took a break from making videos for a while just because I was doing a lot of like in-person ministry. Just graduated from college, which is wild. Um, but I, I went on to like my YouTube studio stuff to kind of check out what's been going on in the time that I've been dormant on this YouTube account. And this video that I made almost a year ago now about praying the rosary every day just popped off a little bit, um, which, which is cool. Uh, and there's a lot more of you here. Subscribe to this channel. So, hey, uh, I think I'm going to be back making videos now. Thanks for, thanks for joining. But in the spirit of that video doing so well, um, and I guess a lot of people are interested in the rosary um, and, our, and our blessed mother. Uh, so I, I wanna make a video about Mary and why she's important because you know we can, we can talk about how maybe the benefits of this and the practice of this, but in terms of like Marian devotion, uh, the why of it. Um, why is Mary important in the experience of faith? And I just took a class. It was one of the last classes I took. And this was the, the final paper, the final large paper that I wrote of my undergrad career um, was about essentially the stuff I'm going to talk about right now. So if, if my college education did one thing for me, I'll be providing this video. Mary, the mother of Jesus, is an important person uh, not only in like the story of the Bible, the story of the gospel, but in our lived faith experience today in three ways. And they all start with the letter M. Uh, she is model, mother, and mediator. I'm going to talk about those three things. Number one, Mary is a model for us. Mary as a human being who lived a faithful life that we can model after we see that first in her uh, her obedience to the Lord to the call to be the mother of Jesus and her yes to the angel, but also in a very uh, interesting way. And I think this is one of the common questions about why why is Mary so important? And this is a question that that I have asked too: of if Mary is so important, then why isn't she mentioned more in the Gospels? Uh, which I think is a fair question, but I think the fact that she isn't mentioned so much in the Gospels says something about Mary. It shows her humility in some ways, and that we may not know much about Mary, but what we do know is that she was with Jesus. She was his mother. So uh, in kind of her, her humble behind-the-scenes life, we know for sure that she spent her life in some ways, hidden with Christ. And that can be for us, and that ought to be a model for us in our lives that we ought to spend our lives uh, humbly, but with the Lord and spending as much of our time with Christ as we can. But also we see in the life of Mary that that life with Christ, spent with Christ, uh, is not always easy because Mary's life is this journey, this unexpected call to be a mother uh, as a virgin, then she goes through her life with Christ, uh, knowing and seeing as he develops and grows that what his ministry will be and the great calling that he has for his life. And probably a lot of joy in that uh, and probably a lot of, of good feeling and, and, and enjoying uh, seeing the, the happiness and the success of her son. But Mary remains with Jesus to the cross. Mary's at the foot of the cross and her heart's pierced as she witnesses the agony and the passion of her son on the cross, and she remains with him to the end. So Mary is a model for us, a model of obedience, of faithfulness, of humility, and life, life with Christ, and this kind of humble, hidden life with Christ, but a life 
that is faithful and steadfast, that remains with Christ to the end through the highs and the lows. So Mary is one, a model, and two, a mother for us. Because uh, as we are children of God and we are made in the image of his son, his son who was born of Mary, we too are in some ways uh, born of Mary. We are, uh, Mary can be a mother to us and that is uh, assigned to us in a very particular way, again there at the foot of the cross when Jesus looks down at the beloved disciple and at Mary and says, uh, to, to the beloved disciple, to John, behold your mother, and to Mary, behold your son. It applies not just to John, the beloved disciple there, but it applies to all of the church from that moment forward that Mary is our mother and that we are her children. And that, I think, is a beautiful thing for us because we have this mother who is a mother to us, protecting Guiding, nurturing, loving, same way that any good and loving mother would be um, for us, our moms. A great mom loves well and nurtures and protects and guides her children. And we have that in our heavenly mother, our blessed mother, Mary in heaven. Someone who, who protects us, who nurtures us, and brings us closer to her son. And that is the third role of Mary, the third M as mediator to her son, Jesus Christ. Because Christ Jesus came into the world through Mary. That God revealed himself to the world and sent his son into the world by being born of Mary. So Mary was uh, the mode through which God entered into the world and God revealed himself to the world by being born of Mary. Mary And Mary's life and witness continues to reveal Christ more fully to us. Um, so we offer prayer to Mary and ask for her intercession and ask for her as mediator to her son to more fully reveal her son to us. And we can do that with confidence because we know that Jesus listens to his mother and is obedient to his mother. And we see that in the wedding at Cana, that uh, they're, they're out of wine. And Mary, Jesus' mother, says they're out of wine, needed to do a miracle. And he does it because he listens to his mother and he obeys. So we can have confidence in that. That when we uh, ask Mary for her intercession to be the mediator between us and Jesus, that uh, it's effective and that her son listens to his mother. And the question, of course, is do we need Mary as a mediator to her son Jesus? And the answer is no, that Jesus is the one true divine mediator between us and God the Father. But we also know that Jesus is divine, Jesus is God, Jesus is holy, and we are so broken. We fail and we we live in our sin in a very beautiful way, Um, Jesus gives us his mother, who was human, like us, but we know through uh, the angel Gabriel to be full of grace and so, so close to her son Jesus in a way that the son obeys his mother and gives his mother to us to be the mediator that in our brokenness, in our humility, when maybe we're too broken to approach the son, that we can go to Mary And ask her to lead us to the Son. To reveal Jesus more fully to us in our brokenness, in our humility. And that's a really humble thing. Um, That's a humble thing for us to acknowledge our brokenness, acknowledge our weakness, acknowledge how far we are from God. To go to Mary, a blessed mother, to ask her to more fully reveal Jesus Christ, her Son, to us. There's so much more that could be said about Mary, but I think I just want to close with this. That's, it's really easy, and I've, been, I've totally been in the boat of, uh, kind of skepticism about giving such honor to Mary when it seems to maybe detract from her son. And Mary's not God, so I would give such honor to Mary, uh, and we ought to instead give that honor solely to Jesus. I, th- I want to draw on something that um, 
my dad said at my grandma's funeral that I think applies and I've, I've kept with me. He said that um, when you become a parent, uh, you you cease to be the center of your own life and your kids take that place. In the life of our Blessed Mother, her whole life uh, was for her son. And that in, in praying and asking for the guidance and intercession of Mary, Mary only lives, exists, and becomes a part of our experience to reveal her son, the center of her universe as a parent, as a mother. She reveals the son fully to us in a way that uh, we can trust. That uh, when we come to Mary, we go more fully to her son.